Allen. A remodeling project has ended in disaster for a Foley homeowner who says the contractor she hired was a crook who stole her money. News 5's Pat Peterson explains why the woman is blaming part of the costly mistake on herself. He pulled all the trim off. In early January, Ruth Feuerstein hired a contractor for a $7,000 drywall repair and trim work project. He asked for $2,500. But Feuerstein did everything wrong when she hired the man who appears to be more of a crook than a contractor. He's a thief. He's nothing but a low-life thief, right? And um, I'm a firm believer in what goes around comes around. Feuerstein, who met the man in the Home Depot drywall section, gave the contractor $2,500 as a down payment. Feuerstein also did not sign a contract, did not ask to see the contractor's business license and insurance, and failed to get references. I took him at his word. He did not answer my calls. He did not answer my texts. And so I felt like I had been scammed. We aren't identifying the contractor because he has not been charged with a crime. Police say it's a civil issue. Because there was a little work done, it no longer was criminal. Real contractors will rarely ask for that much money up front, and legitimate businessmen will always insist on a contract, paperwork that protects both parties. There's no recourse. Uh, verbal is a contract, but there's nothing to prove it. So you definitely want to make sure that you have a written, clear contract and specifications. Foyer Stein has learned a valuable lesson. I think I would be a lot more cautious before, and I probably would not give any money up front. On the Baldwin County beat, Pat Peterson, News 5.